What's your concern with the relationship with the pet and, and the sick patient? Pet dander and pet saliva and, and, and pet filth gets into everything in the room. I have tested dust from, from the room of a, of a home where there was a pet, let's say just a cat, much as I love cats, uh, or a dog, and there are ascaris eggs everywhere and tapeworm eggs everywhere, on the tabletop, on the kitchen counter, on the chairs, anywhere you want to take a dust sample. And why wouldn't there be? Our dander is everywhere, and our germs are everywhere. Why wouldn't theirs be? And what do these two parasites do to the body? They are very injurious. Ascaris does some of the most damaging things to us, causes our seizures, causes our uh, very many brain disorders. About three or four years ago, I guess it was four years ago, Lisa started having, the se having seizures. Uh, the seizures were, um, they covered pretty much a, a wide range of different types of seizures. Uh, they covered different areas of her body, which to the doctors basically indicated um, a non-epileptic seizure. Uh, she went through EEG, several different doctors. Anyways, um, uh, I was referred to Dr. Clark. This is when I actually initially heard of her. and. Uh, uh, treatment she used for seizures, which was black walnut. Uh, we tried her on the black walnut after um, not wanting her to go on other drugs for uh, negative side effects, and the black walnut worked, so we oh, kept her on that. And when you start taking the black walnut, did you instantly get results? Uh, about five days later, my seizures like stopped. I'll have one like now at once, maybe every two months. Once. I'm gonna make a change. For once in my